Borda, welcome to another episode of This Is Sevens. If you want to kick like this, then stick around. So for any skill, you can do it any way you want to, as long as it gets results and works for you. But it's important understanding why you do a technique, so if it goes wrong during a game, you can correct it. The two main types of drop kicking in sevens is to restart a game and to convert a try. Today, we're gonna to be concentrating on goal kicking. Personally, I like to keep my kicking action the same, whether I'm going for a restart or a goal kick. The main thing that changes is how high the ball bounces. So more of a half volley for a goal kick and letting it bounce higher for a restart. So just like kicking off the tee in 15s, for each drop kick you want to have the same setup. It's going to keep your timing and your swing consistent and it's going to help mentally prepare you for every kick. This is how I like the setup using the ball. So I line one of the seams of the ball up with the post. This is the direction of my kick and it's where my foot and momentum are going to go. Next, I use the adjacent panel and this is where my body's going to face for the run-up. So I take two steps back and my body goes along the panel and my foot goes along the seam. This is probably the most crucial aspect of the whole process. We want to try and deliver the ball consistently straight so we can kick it as cleanly as possible. So this is completely personal to you, find whatever works. Ideally though, you're doing two hands to one hand for the drop, so you can keep as much control as possible. So personally, I like my right hand wrapped around the top of the ball, and then my left hand loosely with my fingers, just keeping some control. So for the kick, we want a nice, consistent, confident strike. You're not trying to take the skin off the ball, but equally, you're not lightly tapping it. Ideally, you're kicking it the same, whether you're just outside the posts or you're near the touchline. So we want to keep our chest fairly over the ball, not hunched over. You still want to be standing tall. We want to avoid leaning back or to the side so we can keep our momentum going towards the target. So I like to keep my eyes on the sweet spot of the ball that I'm trying to strike. You don't want to be raising your head and looking for where the ball's gone because it's going to throw your timing off. Once we've kicked the ball, our finishing position and our momentum are massively important. As a general rule, whichever way our body's facing and our foot ends up is where the ball's gonna go. Nice one, Luke. So we'll do some more videos that explain some good drills, but here's a good one to start. Work your way back from the try line to the dead ball. And what you're trying to do is kick under the bar but land it over the 22. And this is going to encourage you to drive through the ball, which is perfect for goal kicking. If you have any questions or you want to see something specific in a future video, leave a comment below. And as always, a subscribe will really help us grow the channel.